All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's review of the phone. Just a minute, everybody. Okay. Hello, everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Coder 64 gallon trash can. We're going to be taking a look at a trash can that you might see at your RV park. All right, so guys, uh, before we start, uh, you can tell it's a little humid out here and body. So I hope it's not humid where y'all live. I know it's stormy up where, there where y'all live. Some, some of you may watch me and that's it. Everybody, so welcome to today's review. Uh, today in this video, we're going to be talking about a trash can that you may see at your RV park. This is a 64 gallon toter. This unit is designed, this unit is designed to be used. Extremely durable. Now, uh, you guys can tell, um, the, this one right here is a 64 gallon. Now, the trash can that I was showing you in our last video, I said something I wasn't supposed to say, but I was gonna tell you guys that if I, if I had to redo the video, everybody, I'm so sorry. I had a couple of errors in this one, but if you guys could tell here, um, this one's pretty well made. Everybody, so we're going to take a look at this Coder 64 gallon instead of the Blue Hawk, okay? Now, the Blue Hawk is basically sad equipment, piece of junk, but if you guys can tell, piece of junk literally, but if you guys can tell here, this is basically a uh, 64 gallon car. Now, this unit again is designed, this unit again is designed to be used at your dump station or at your campsite. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys have noticed this this yet before, this mess right here before, this is a 64 gallon toter. So uh, one thing that you are gonna get with this trash can is a really, a really, 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 really durable body. The unit is made of a durable granite stone. Now I'll tell you guys what granite stone is. Granite stone is basically a type of plastic. Now. What really makes this trash can the top one that I love, um, that I love, is that uh, this unit here, when you open it up, I'm gonna show you guys the front real quick before we open it up. Let me close that up for you again. I'm gonna tell you guys this right here. So again, right here, right here, uh, and I don't know if you guys could tell here, this unit right here is designed to allow you to um, put it on the back of a garbage truck, or um, if you wanna dump it manually, you can. But if you guys could tell, this is a 64 gallon cart. Now, the reason why I have it bent back a little, tilted back a little bit is to show you guys what your, your, what your um, other trash can looks like, okay? Now, here's this. This unit right here, is going to have a flange up underneath here. You're also going to have a um, tipper bar, a tipper bar, which is located down close to the bottom of the trash can. Now, right here, this is basically the middle of the trash can, but we're basically down close to the bottom of it. Now, if you guys could tell completely enough, this trash can right here is designed to um, roll freely. Now, like I told you before, this unit will roll freely and it will it will do what you want it to do. Now, ladies and gentlemen, right here, let Toter do the work for you. Let Toter do the work for you. Well, I will because I'm gonna let Toter do the work for me. Now, everybody, if you guys could tell here, you're gonna tell that this unit is going to have a, 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 um, a flange and then a tipper bar. A uh, flange and then a tipper bar. Now, the reason why I said tipper is because you know they have cart tippers on the back of garbage trucks, right? Now, this unit can be dumped automatically, automated, and manually. Now, manually looks like this. Now, if you guys could tell here, I'm gonna do it a little bit back away from the camera a little bit. I'm gonna back away from the camera a little bit so you guys can see what it looks like. See there? Looks like that when you're dumping it manually. 
So if you guys could tell here, um, when I purchased this, uh, that's exactly why I purchased this trash can. It's really tough. Now I'm gonna pull it up a little bit closer so that you guys can see the interior design. So let me show you guys the interior of it. So when I, op when I open up the lid to the trash can, you can tell everybody that this trash can here, um, I'm gonna pull it back a little bit so you guys can see it real quick. So there you go. I'm gonna have it pulled back now if you guys could tell. Now this trash can here is designed to be used in various reasons. Now the reason why I say that is because if you look on the interior, you're gonna see there's your flange mechanism and your tipper bar, your flange mechanism and your tipper bar mechanism, which is right there. You can tell them little tubes that are sticking out on the side. That is basically where the bar is supposed to go at the front of the trash can for automated collection, for automated collection. Okay, so um, on the side of the trash can, you're gonna get you're gonna get two. You're gonna get four ribs, two at the front, and two at the back. You're also going to have a a uh, indention that goes all the way from the top, all the way to the bottom of this trash can and this unit. Now, if you guys can tell here. At the top of this trash can, you're gonna have a rim that is gonna go along the top. Basically, that's where the lid, this is basically where the lid comes in contact with the plastic, okay? So, what I mean by that is if you look in here, all the grit, I mean all of the grit, garbage, and the debris that you put in here, such as yard waste, recycling, trash, household trash, scrap metal, whatever. Now this is nice, pretty awesome, okay? Now if you guys could tell here, this is not, this is not a toy for children, okay? Now children can play, can play around this, but they have to be aware, this trash can is really heavy for small children, but for me, I'm good, because you guys can tell um, this trash can I can lift because I've, I've got strong muscles. Do y'all have strong muscles? Let me know in the comment section if you do, okay? Everybody, so this trash can here can also uh, withstand hot and cold temperatures. Now, when I turn it around, okay, when I turn it around and I show you guys the interior, I'm going to lift it up. I'm actually going to lift it up and see if you guys can see the interior a little bit. Um, from a side point perspective, okay? Now, what I'm fixing to do is lift it up for you all, and then that's it. So you guys can see there, there's the interior design of it. Now, what I'm fixing to do is put it back down. So there you go. There you go. So there you go. Okay, so another thing I want you guys to look at here is the, hit, the lid. I want us to look at here is the lid. So the lid at the top of this trash can is going to have a two hinge design, a two hinge design. The two hinge design is basically going to be um, right here. So if you guys could tell the two hinge design on the top of the, at the top of this lid is going to allow the lid to stay closed real freely even when the garbage can is in motion now when i purchased this unit now i'll tell you guys a couple of reasons why i purchased this unit in about a minute okay i'm gonna tell you guys about the reasons why i purchased this unit in a minute okay now so when we open the lid when i open up the lid again uh you're gonna notice before i do open up the lid again you're gonna notice there are rules at the back of the lid on this trash can the rules are basically listed on this side and the other side for, for people that live in the USA and for people that live in another country, okay? Let me show you guys this right here. Now, so uh, if you guys could tell here, uh, what I wanted you guys to look at here, 
this trash can on the lid is going to have a handle right here. If you guys can look at it, there's the handle. You can tell that with the handle, you can open and shut, you can open and shut the trash can even though the unit is in use, all right? Now, when I lean it back, when I lean it back, um, I don't know if you guys can see it here, but um, there's the flange and tipper bar mechanism, okay? So right in here, it tells you to close the lid before moving. It tells you to close the lid before moving. So I'm gonna show you guys how well the lid will open with the two hinge design, all right? One, two, three. See there? This unit will open up freely, okay? But when you wanna close it, when you want to close it, it can close freely as well. It can close freely as well, as well, okay? So this trash can right here is going to be the one that you can buy. You can buy it with your money or you can buy it with somebody else. You can buy it with your money at Home Depot. But um, this trash can, really nice, okay? It is really nice, okay? Okay. Everybody, so the next thing I want us to do now is go through our, uh, I want us to go through the reason why I purchased this trash can. Now, when I purchased this uh, trash can, I thought it was the correct one. Well, it is. It is the correct one that I'm using. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in our next video, which is going video, which is going to be tomorrow morning, we're going to show you guys how to load a 64 gallon trash can, which is this one right here. Okay. Now, so the reason why I purchased this one is because this one is a little bit better than the sad one that I have over there, which is by Blue Hawk. Now, when I bring this one over here, which is by Blue Hawk, I'll tell you exactly the reason why. That one's a no-no for you. So this one here rolls absolutely well. It rolls absolutely well. Now, one deck gum reason I purchased that one. That one that one has better quality, but this one right here, this one right here, no. This one right here, uh-uh. It does not have better quality. Well, I tell I tell you guys right now. No, uh-uh, no way. This one does not have better quality right there. This one does not have better quality. Now, if you look, this trash can right here, the lid can break off easily. See here, the lid can break off easily. This trash can can also be flimsy as well. So, this trash can right here is going bye-bye. Well. I've had this for about a year, okay? I've had this trash can for about a year, and it started breaking on me. Every time I try to use the son of a gun, it started breaking. Well, you guys can tell I'm a little bit disappointed about this one, but over there, that one over there, this one over here, is better quality. This one right here again is better quality. I'm going to show you guys the dump cycle on this one with the manual dump, the manual lift, which is me. I'm going to show you guys the dump cycle on it. there this trash can has a really nice dump cycle on it okay now uh, if you guys look at the sides you can tell it does say toter which is pretty neat and pretty good pretty good but that other one by blue hawk dad gummit no dad gummit no it ain't good quality. Well, 
It ain't good quality, I can tell you that right now. That son of a gun ain't good. That that son of a gun right there ain't good quality. You could got you guys could tell you guys you guys could tell I'm a little angry in my voice. I'm a little bit angry about that one because it started breaking on me. But uh, there are some perfect ones out there, but sadly, this one right here cannot wear out. This one right here cannot. This one right here cannot wear out. This one will not wear out even though you're using it. This trash can is good piece of quality. This one right here has good quality. This one right here, I'd rate it as a piece of gold. Well, bam, bam. It does the good job that you need it to do. Everybody, so, uh, before we end the video, I'm going to demonstrate the dump site, the dump cycle again. But this time, I'm going to demonstrate it from this angle. With it. I'm going to demonstrate it a little bit closer to the camera so you guys can see. I'm going to demonstrate a little bit closer to the camera so you guys can see a little bit, okay? Okay, so did you see that? That one has a much better dump cycle. Now one more thing I want you guys to notice before I end the video is this. Notice there's a little arrow right here. It tells you to put this with the arrow facing the street. Right there. It tells you to put it with the arrow facing the street. Everybody, so before we end this video, do not, do not throw away this trash can. I'm going to tell you that right now. Do not throw away that trash can. It's really nice quality, really nice and pretty good. Thank you guys. Um, That is going to do it for today's look at the Toter 64-gallon trash can. Have a great day.